And now that I look at them, <laughs> I think that they are watermelons. These are the sugar baby watermelons. And they are getting kind of fat, so I think it's time for me to put this one down on the ground. So I just put it up here on the ground and wrap the vine around. So I have four good watermelons growing and hopefully I have a long enough season for them to grow. These are the sugar baby varieties so they're not going to get huge. But hopefully they'll get to a good enough size where they'll be edible. And the last time I showed you my eggplants they were dying off but as you can see they are completely dead and I pretty much gave up on them about a week ago anyway because of all the ants. Look at this pepper. Ooh, it is beautiful. Let's see how many peppers I have. I got one, two, three, four. Do peppers get blossom in rock? Because look at this. I don't want to bend it too far because I don't want it to break. Yeah, that's four. And five and six is right here. Finally got some flowers on this pea, bean, whatever it is. Flowers here. Flowers all up and down that one. And as you can see, they're pretty long compared to how they were when I first showed them to you. This is the caterpillar that I just found on my peas. And I'd appreciate it because now that I look at him and my hand was in the way the whole time, look what he did. He's been busy eating. I'm mad, I'm mad, I'm mad. Look at this. I appreciate that, Caterpillar. Caterpillar's been busy. Look at my carrots. Tops is gone. I'm mad at the Caterpillar. That tomato I found in the backyard. Look how big it's gotten since the last time I showed you. Here's the basil again. Okay, now correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't basil supposed to grow short and stocky and full instead of tall like this? Like it's reaching towards the sun? I don't know. Am I doing something wrong or is this the way it's supposed to grow? Let me know. <laughs> 